All right, welcome back to the garage. Uh, if you saw the last video, you saw that we cleaned up all the holes in the rocker. Now we've got to do some more cleanup, uh, various welds that need a little touch up as well as this little tab here. I had uh, welded it on along the butt weld there, but it needs a couple plug welds along this edge. But first I want to trim this up so that it kind of follows the existing tab a little bit better. Trim this bottom off, trim this side up a little bit as well as I've got a hole there that needs to be welded up and a crack there that needs to be welded up. Uh, somebody on the last video noticed that I've got studs here. Now this should be a bolt, but uh, water and everything comes down uh, through this cowl shoulder and collects right in there and it rusts these things solid and I've heard horror stories of guys trying to get those bolts out well whoever had this car previously didn't bother with that just cut the head off of the bolt and just left a, a stud um, rust welded into, <laughs> into there and just put a nut on it and you know what I think that works just fine the uh, the fender is slotted so it actually slides in around this and uh, I don't have a problem with just leaving a stud there, so I'm gonna do that. It's the same on the other side as well, so I'm just gonna leave those guys alone. They're good enough for now, but uh, let's get this guy trimmed up a little bit and uh, see what we're working with. Okay, I got that piece trimmed up there. It's looking real good. I also ground down the welds just a little bit up in there. Uh, now then, to drill this out for plug welds, I don't wanna drill all the way through it, uh, so what I wanna do is just take a little plastic shim, I've got a little plastic shim here, and slide this up in between the two different layers, if I can. I might need a, a thinner shim, but uh, get a shim in between there and then I can drill through one piece of metal without drilling all the way through both of you. Let's do that. All right, getting this baby drilled out and a little pro tip for you. Whenever you're drilling on, on a metal that's close like this and you get a hold, you wanna hold it from the backside so you get maximum leverage, use a block of wood because if that drill slips off there, you're gonna lose some skin. Okay, all clamped up there and ready to be welded up. Let's get to it. Okay, got that all welded up and cleaned up. You see it looks pretty good in there. Also welded up the gap there because that's a direct route into the cab of the vehicle. So wanted to clean that up as well as I welded up this hole over here. There's a hole there and then as well there was a pretty good hole down in the bottom of this. Welded those up. So now I can move on to the back here and uh, do clean up around this wheel arch, uh, clean up welds as well as anything that's got holes in it along the mini tub here. I can clean that up. Got a good angle to get up in here and get to those. So as well as back here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind those down, weld everything up, make it look real pretty. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, I got all those welds uh, cleaned up, fixed up, ground down, looking good. Uh, now I'm gonna rotate this thing over a bit more and I can work on the, uh, the welds along the pinch weld along the bottom and anything else that needs to be cleaned up on the bottom side. So let's do that. All right, that's a better orientation to get it to some of these places here, like down around in here. Needs to be cleaned up, welded up, ground down, made looking nice as well as anything else up in here, including uh, this back in here. Need to weld that up a little bit. Some grinding and uh, welding. So let's do some more of that. All right, after a little more quality time with the grinder and the welder, I've got these uh, pinch welds here all looking nice. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, they're nice and smooth. I welded up real good, as well as up in here. I uh, cleaned that area up there. It's nice and nice and nice. Uh, now, since I've got it on its side here, where this four-link cradle sits, there's a bunch of bare metal and a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to be able to get to once this four-link cradle is attached. So I'm going to kind of mark out around here where this is going to sit and pull this off here, clean it up, scuff everything, and epoxy prime this area. So I've got a little heat buddy here 
to help out with my uh, garage heat situation because it's winter time and it's kind of cold. So going to warm this thing up, scuff it up real good, and then uh, lay down a couple coats of epoxy where that uh, cradle sits. Let's do that. Okay, I got this all scuffed up real good. Uh, what I did is I used a uh, um, uh, surface prep disc on an angle grinder for most of it and also a uh, scotch Bright pad in the areas that I couldn't get to very well. But I got it all scuffed up real good, taped it off where the welds are going to be. Um, same thing with the cradle here. Uh, through test fitting it, I scraped off some of the um, powder coating that's on this thing. So I'm just going to all the surfaces that are going to be matched up to that, that I won't be able to get to. I'm going to epoxy prime those. Uh, got it all warmed up. Going to hit it with some uh, some uh, wax and grease remover. Got some of the stuff here. And then I've got epoxy primer here. So let's get it cleaned up and paint it. So Got her all coated in epoxy all in this area where uh, that cradle is going to sit as well as I coated the cradle uh, in epoxy except for where it's going to be welded along there, 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 and there. Uh, I'm going to let this dry for a couple days and then I'll slap it up there and move on to something, something else. Well, after a few days drying time, I set it back up here and guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to trim these ears off. I guess I'll pull it off and do that real quick. Okay, a little time with the cutoff wheel, and I got that uh, um, just cut back a little bit on both sides. Let's slap it up there and see how she fits. Okay, I've got the cradle bolted up here just loosely. Um, it's fitting up in there pretty good. You can see where I cut off the, the edge of this guy. It's uh, nice and even with the frame rail there. Uh, same thing down here on the bottom. Nice and clean. I like it. Uh, there is a gap though between here and there. I'm gonna rotate this thing over and uh, put some pressure up from underneath and uh, use the thread forming bolts that came with came with it and uh, see if I can't close up that gap and get it nice to nice to weld there. So let's do that. Rotate this thing over and see what we got. Okay, I got the car rotated over here, setting setting nice. And I went to use the porta power, this guy, to jack up underneath here and put some pressure, hold it up. And it didn't really work. It just kind of lifted the car and the rotisserie and everything up in the air, but it didn't close up the gaps. But uh, whenever I put the thread forming bolts in there, it closed up the gap pretty good. Um, it's still a little gappy, but we're gonna rotate it over, get it up on its side so I can uh, take a look, investigate and uh, weld her up. So let's take a look at that. All right, got her up on her side here now. Um, I started the thread forming bolts with a small impact and then tightened them down by hand with a wrench and a ratchet. And uh, they all went pretty good with these thread forming bolts. They're not, they're not the best thing in the world. They've just got a little bit of thread on them, which makes them easy to strip out if you over torque them. And that's what happened to this one. It went from righty tighty to righty loosey. So I'm gonna bust out the welder and uh, try and weld up just the inside of that hole a little bit and maybe redrill it and see if I can't uh, get this thing to hang on there and then uh, tighten it down and then then maybe weld this guy on there. Let's do that. That time it worked pretty good. It's in there pretty tight. I wouldn't be surprised if these things don't rattle out. I, like they're, they're just kind of crap. So really glad that I'm welding this in there. I'm going to start welding now. Weld this guy up in there, both sides. That there and that there. So let's let's get that going. All right, she's all welded in there. Looks pretty good. I did uh, two passes on these areas that had uh, big gaps on them. I think they turned out all right. I think all the welds turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, that looks nice. And then same thing down here. Got these guys looking good. 
and then this guy here got a little bulb to see here at the at the one end so I um, ground that down a little bit but it's looking good it's welded on there now I can move on and do something else now one thing that I almost forgot to do was uh, drill holes through this subframe support piece into the uh, floor pan and rocker pieces here uh, should have a couple holes here with plug welds in them so I got to drill those out weld them up and then I'll I think I'll be done with the uh, bottom side of this thing once I do that up so let's do it okay just really quickly uh, drilled holes uh, clamped it together and uh, weld her up looks real good I think I'm done with the bottom side of this thing now let's rotate it over and see what kind of love the top side needs all right there's part of the car I don't get to see very often the roof uh, it's it's actually in pretty good shape it needs a little bit of work on the edge down there, but uh, it's pretty good Rear deck filler panel that'll need some love uh, for right now I'm gonna cut out the braces that I put in to uh, Hold the, the trunk lid hinges in place while I did the mini tubs and cut those out We've got good access to them here uh, as well as these welds right here need a little bit of love So I'm gonna do some touch up on those maybe do a little cleanup work in the in the trunk area here and uh, let's get her done. All right, I got them little turds cut out of there. They fought me a little bit because it's hard to get in here, but uh, smoothed up the area there and up in here, down there, as well as up here where those were welded in for support. Um, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll do the welding up of these guys in the next video. I'm tired right now and I wanna go do something different. So I'm gonna end this video here. Before I go, I wanted to give you guys a big thumbs up. Thanks a bunch. I just hit a thousand subscribers here on YouTube and I really appreciate everybody liking and, and subscribing and watching and commenting and all that good stuff. Um, really makes me, helps motivate me on this project. And uh, hopefully it's either entertaining or informational for somebody out there. But uh, anyway, thanks a bunch for watching and uh, keep on keeping on.